Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you something. <clears throat> right here, by the way. I had a dream last night about auto assembly. And I got so excited about it that it woke me up. And I went back to sleep and I dreamt about it again. And that kept happening all night. And only from today, because of the dream of last night, I am now very excited about auto assembly. And I rang George today, exaggerated elegy, and Chris McFeely, McFeely mumbles, and we were chatting about it. And uh, he's in the same place as me, Derry. Uh, but I don't live there anymore because I live here. And um, I tell you what, it's the only place in the world I've ever been that, had to, that I can get woken up by foxes and owls. It's really quite romantic. It brings out the poet in one, which is nice. So I am excited about auto assembly from today. That's the way the cat does it as well. And that's nice. It's good. So, you know, some of you may have got this bad boy by now. And he's, he's, he's alright. But he isn't worth... Um, the 60 quid that I pay for it in Forbidden Planet. But, you know, sod's law. I got it on Wednesday in Forbidden Planet for 60 fucking quid. And then the next day, the new Argos catalogue comes out. And it's full of Transformers. Transformers everywhere. And I could have got it in there for 45. But, hey, sure, when you collect, that's the way things go. You know, and I got a couple of the little Human Alliance basics. I got them yesterday. And I'll open them up later. Because um, it's Sunday and I'm going to have a beer tonight. So that's good. So... Well, hello, and I'm back and stuff. Uh, still haven't got the music. There's a buzzard flying away up there. You see, you think I would live... You think I live in a jungle or something like that. No, uh, it's lovely. It's just flying away there, looking for stuff. Hopefully, it'll probably catch that freaking fox that wakes me up in the middle of the night. Um... <clears throat> Done the auto assembly thing. Yeah, so it's going. So what am I going to review? And I was looking about for stuff. Smith's no one. He makes me laugh. I hope you're going the auto assembly. I don't even know your first name. I think I did know it, but um, I've forgotten it. Um, yeah. Do you know the guy? I mean, S M S N O one. I think that's how he's how he's saying. He's fucking funny. He cracks me up. He's so good. Um, he's the reviewer. I could have been. Catching up on the bit of the old YouTube there, just to see who's coming to Auto Assembly and stuff, and it's all nice. Oh yes, where was I? Yes, I'm thinking about what to review, and I had to go to my bag next door because I've got some things here. I'm not going to review anything that's too new because other people are more interested in them, and I'm not massively interested in the new stuff. Not massively, unless it's very cool, like the the generations or that kind of stuff. I've said that before. I've said too much. So I opted for a guy, I don't know why I haven't done him, you know, I've never done this guy before, Dinobot. The only, the only, uh, the only Transformer I know with, with prehensile boobs. There, look, what do you think of those, eh? Isn't it though? Um, <laughs> he's a love-hate kind of thing. Where is it? Well, sorry, it disappeared there for a minute. You love him, you hate him, you love him and you hate him, equal measure, and some people absolutely despise it. <laughs> But, here we go. Let me give you a little bit of BG about the old Dinobot here. Uh, for 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 my money, I like Dinobot. I like the character. It's interesting because he's from Beast Wars, obviously. And he's the only one that I know that everybody can do Dinobot's voice. Everybody can do Dinobot's voice. Everybody can do Dinobot's voice. Maximal Beast Wars, as if torn from the pieces of Earth's prehistoric past. Isn't the, the screen nice and clear? I'm so pleased about it. You wait till I get my music edited and all that kind of shit. This is going to be rocking in the house, ladies and gentlemen. As if torn from the paces of Earth's prehistoric past, a vicious velociraptor breathes again, but Dinobot is no ordinary raptor. He's a robot in disguise. He had better be, otherwise he's not no place on my shelf. Battling beside his heroic teammates, the Maximals, armed with a spinning cyber slash tail weapon and always hungry for battle, Optimus Primal considers him a natural combat expert who has clawed his way. Clawed, do you like that? To one victory after another. Where's iMovie? There it is. It's lovely and clear. I like that. Very forgiving light. You wouldn't think I was 65 next birthday. No. So, little Dinobot. No, this is the thing. This is the thing. I love me dinosaurs. Especially, uh, you know, dinosaurs with wings. Flying things. Dinosaurs. Dragons. Extinct things. Things that never existed. Love. Uh, just very, very exciting. And beasts, anyway, generally. So, look from here. It's very, very nice. Apart from the... The fact that he's got a little butt plug there stuck on the top of him. He's got one here as well. But, you know, Transformers have holes and ports and posts and things sticking out of them. You have to forgive all of them. All of them. I'm not to so sold in this Jetwings Optimus Prime. I'm not so sold. Smizno one reckons it's pretty thick hot, but we shall see, dog. Yeah, this shit here, you know. What? 
fuck is this? They had this thing going with some of the Dinobots, didn't they? Where, you know, you had to pretend that they were ribs and what and whatever. And, you know, you could take chunks of their flesh off and reveal ribs and stuff. Don't care for that. I really don't care for that. And these things, which I'm calling prehensile boobs, are an absolute mistake. They just get in the way of what... Look at them. What the fuck? They get in the way of what would otherwise be a shit hot little toy. Ha ha ha, He-Man! Haven't done the skeleton of white. Ha ha ha, He-Man! In a while. I'm perfecting my Jean-Luc Picard too. It's getting better. I'm not doing it today, but it's getting better. I'm very pleased. Nice. Apart from that, you know, everything looked good. He is a fan favorite. Very, very, very nice. He said so many incarnations, this guy. So many recolors. You've got the Telemoka. You've got the classic. This is the, the original Hasbro one. And he's pink. You may not see it, but he's pink. He's really pink. He's quite pink. And then the um, Takara one, they, it was a little more beige and... Yeah, the universe one, which I don't have. I don't have... Why do I not have that? Don't know why I haven't collected that. I'll get around to that. Yeah, and you've got the... the No, that's Cheetor thing, Night Slash. But, you know, the Transmetal 2 Dinobot, the thing that looks like a cross between uh, uh, a Meccano set and uh, Ice Cream Cone. I don't even know what he is, you know. It's just a strange thing. But this is, for my money, if you're going for a Dinobot, this is my the, the Dinobot that I want. Despite this mess, this mistake here, he's fine. Range of movement, he's got the, he's, he can do this thing with him, which I'm so pleased. He's got a good old maw there. Good range of movement. The tail isn't going to go swishy swishy. It will spin. <laughs> I don't think Velociraptors did that. Um, legs fine, movement good. Now, we forgive this. Goodbye. Look, hinges everywhere too, but it's all right. That's all right. 1997. Yeah, because the bot is really good. And what this Beast Wars bot do, what a lot of Beast Wars era bots do, is that they've got bits that you take off and they just become very, very funky weapons. Anything that can be stored. I mean, I think I've said to you before, one of my favorite Beast Wars bots is... Uh, that doesn't want to come out. One of my favorite Beast Wars bots is the Wolfang Howlinger K9. You know, he's like a, the German Shepherd thing. He's so cool. And I will review him again in this brand new crystal clear screen, which I'm very pleased about. Auto assembly. I'm so excited. I dream. I, I dreamt about it. And now I'm excited. If I wasn't before, I am now. This turns right like that. Very standard transformation. It's got this thing at the back and you just have to live with it you know it doesn't come off and turn into a shield or a balaclava or something like that that would be nice but um this bit comes down like this all the way not bad good 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 what is this thing he looks like he's been sicked upon by an evil ghosty baby that's all i can say it's i don't like this ectoplasmic battle mask it would be so much nicer without him i would recommend getting yourself a dinobot and keeping them all nice and good and getting one that's a junker and is missing these parts and just keep them displayed without them because these get in the way of his fucking head they really really do He's got some funky hand thing going on. Now, you remember him. What's really nice about him is that he's very true to how you see him in Beast Wars, the animated series, which kicks ass. He's got this odd hand arrangement. And they don't they don't mess it up or they, they, they don't downplay it in the series, which is what I really like. Not so much, anyway. But look at this shit either side of his head. What? Go away. Stop it. Take them off. Give them to your cat to play with. Don't don't give them the air cat, actually. Not good. Bad, my bad. This thing here, what do you do with it? You do that with it. That's kibble. You see that? You see that? That's kibble. That's kibble. These I can live with. That's kibble. This shit is kibble. But, look at the bot. The bot is nice. There you see his amber legs and his prehensile boobies now become very nice feet. Thank you very much. Not bad. Nice little head. Very good. Can't what's the focus like here? He's got this... Flat matte grey head with the blue and very very nice. 
Uh, no light piping, but a little yellow. But look, look at that. Uh, how stupid does that look? Fucking awful. Right. Okay, we've got that for you. All have Dinobot. You don't have to watch this. We don't like this. I like this very much. This is one weapon. That's one weapon, and the way he holds it is so funky because you insert it into his palm. So that's nice and weird and strange, but you know we can live with it. Or thing. What is it exactly? What is it exactly? Uh, I could say something really rude, but I won't. We'll live with that. Uh, take this out and you put it into his other hand. This is like his spine. The tip of his tail becomes this other... It's a sword, you know? And again, it's a little impractical to hold it like that. But it's fine. These little quirks make this guy all the more interesting for me. You see this thing here? You turn that and he does this here, which is nice. You can imagine him kind of doing this song and dance number, you know? Putting on the Ritz. This is his cane and he's twirling his little umbrella or whatever. If you don't like to do that. And it's not often you see this. It's not often you see this little thing alluded to. You put this bad boy in there, right? It will go back into here. Now, it won't sit in there because that will just flop down silly. You see, what this post does here... And the port at the back is you plug this old bad boy here. What part? You plug him into there. Oh, if I can. Yep. It does work. It takes a little getting used to, but it will work. And you can display him. Oh, yeah. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Stop your nonsense. You can display him. Now, I like to do this. If you open up these sections like that. Just, you can give them a little angle of about 45 degrees or something like that. Not too bad. That's okay, I can live with that. Okay, this is an aerial and these are his jet wings. Ah. Dinobot. Now, there are a few other Dinobots. This is definitely the one to start with because he's really cool. The 10th anniversary color isn't bad at all. They've kind of updated the color. But if you love your bots, then you've got to have the original one. And this is definitely the one to start with. Um, not long to auto assembly. Now I'm excited about auto assembly. Very excited. Please say hello to everybody because we all like to be said hello to. You. And I'll say I'm looking forward to meeting a few people. Hope some is no ones coming in away. And I know I know quite a few other people who are coming because this will be my third. Look at him there, isn't he cute? He's a cute and odd thing. These are shit. These look awful things. Bad. But the rest of them is very, very nice. Now, how do we do this? See, it's so simple. Macs are great, aren't they? They're so user-friendly. Love little Dinobot. I've got a few other things knocking about. I think I know what I'm going to do next, so I won't tell you because uh, I like to keep it at... Hey, it's such a treat. Ladies and gentlemen. Ray, not I love mess. Please call me Ray. I shall see you all very soon. Dinobot, liking it. Pick him up. I love Beast Wars. Some of you love Beast Wars. The rest of you, wise up, please.